Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5 and this is not a review. This is kind of an update video. I want to talk about the 42, uh, more specifically my 42 and my experiences with it. I want to talk a little bit about Benchmade the company. And um, um, this is kind of a show and tell. Um, I don't consider myself to be the best flipper and when you take a look at my 42 you'll understand why. Um, for those of you who uh, don't know, the 42 is the benchmark where all of the Bella songs are uh, compared and uh, measured. Um, they're like the standard uh, flipping Bella song, and unfortunately, Benchmade discontinued them, which is sad because it's a very, very good design, a good knife. Um, and um, those of you who had a 42 and uh, sold it and you want to uh, one you want to replace it or if a lot of you younger uh, Balasong enthusiasts hear about the 42 and you want one it's simply out of reach for a lot of people because um, they're so hard to find because people are hanging on to them and when people do decide to sell them they're asking prices like 600 to a thousand dollars or more if you have one the other 40 series but um, I've seen uh, 42s go from $600 to $1,000 uh, on different places like Blade HQ and um, Arizona Custom Knives, Arizona uh, Custom Knives, um, and um, I probably can't get that for my 42 because I didn't collect my 42. It was my flipping ballast song forever, and um, I will tell you that I'm very rough with. Um, my ballast songs. Um, I've had a couple CCCs. Uh, I had um, um, the um, uh, I had the um, this 42, the uh, 32 Morpho, and the 51 Morpho. And um, let's see, um, I've either uh, broken or had to replace the parts on both my uh, or on the. Um, um, uh, uh, 42 the CCC it had a catastrophic failure um, it was pretty spectacular and um, my 51 the latch broke on it and I lost uh, two screws that attached the pocket clip to the uh, uh, handle and um, uh, fasten the handle together so I'm going to have to get back with Benchmade to replace those parts because Benchmade refuses to um, lock tight their fasteners which is strange because they're a very uh, high, you know it's a very big company they make a lot of luxury knives and high performance knives that very expensive a lot of uh, high, uh, very expensive materials and cold steel um, uh, which made a lot of very affordable knives uh, they now got into the super steel uh, uh, market but before they used me kind of a mediocre steel which was not a bad steel it just wasn't the greatest steel and um, they locked tight all of their fasteners and pivots uh, so I don't see why Benchmade can't do that with arrows I actually lost um, that screw right there wait that that screw right there I had to have it replaced and I lock, went ahead and locked tight these but you know what's the cool thing about the uh, 42? Even though I lost the screw, it still stayed together. I could still flip it and the handle wouldn't fly off, which is strange. I don't know how that works, but that's how it worked. Um, but yeah, um, I've um, in some shape, form, or fashion uh, damaged three ballast songs. Two of them being uh, really nice ballast songs. Not a non-Chinese variety made in the USA and stuff. So I'm rough on ballast songs, and you'll see that. Um, by the way, mine's the one with the spring latch. And watch this. Uh, this is going to be a non-load fast draw. There you go. Uh, didn't move my arm at all. But let's take a look at my 42. I can't get a thousand dollars or six hundred dollars for my 42 because I didn't collect it. I used it as a flipper and um, I don't know how well you can see this but there's a lot of little micro chips in there you can see it's pretty well blunted the tip needs to be repaired um, I can I don't recommend anybody do this with their knife especially if it's sharp but just to illustrate how sharp this is 
the weight of the knife on my finger does not cut. Uh, I got some paper and uh, you'll see that it actually does cut it a little bit but there's a lot of sliding and it doesn't cut on certain um, you know closer to the tip because um, the, the edge is damaged. By the way I like the Weehawk design if I got one of the 60 series, I'd probably get the Weehawk. I don't care for the Bowie Balasong or the, the Tantum one is all right, but I like the Weehawk. Um, but yes, um, this knife doesn't have much cutting capability. Um, and it doesn't have much stabbing capability. It can still stab, but it's just not a factory new so I probably can't get the money out of this that some other people can but this is a testament to uh, not being afraid to drop your knife you've seen many of my ballast song videos and um, I'm not uh, ashamed to drop my knife um, usually when I flip my ballast song um, uh, outside at least in the case of this so this is hitting the dart and stuff and um, messing with the blade and um, um, I flip it on my bed um, but usually when I'm doing filming with my Alessandro I'm outside because I know um, it's not going to hold anything I've had these ballast songs fly clear across the room i.e. when I broke my CCC I did this it snapped off right here and flew to the other side of the room um, you know, pig, me pig iron or cast metal, whatever you want to call it. It just didn't he hold up. It was like a um, 15 to 20 dollar ballast song. Um, let's talk about um, Pacific Cutlery, which is the precursor to Benchmade, to um, um, Benchmade the company now. Um, um, Dang it, I can't remember the president's name. Anywho, um, the guy that uh, started Pacific Cutlery and Benchmade, uh, he started because he had a love for ballast songs. But he realized that the Filipino handmade ballast songs, which I just happen to have right here, or this is my carry ballast song, uh, made in the Philippines, designed by me. Um, love it. But he recognized that the Filipino ballast song, although a very finely crafted tool, is relatively weak. So anytime someone says ballast songs have the strongest locking mechanism, well, it's not necessarily true because of, um, well, CCCs and Filipinos. All those, these are high quality knives. They're just not as strong as this. It's very, very thin pins and, a, um, you know, it's just, it's strong, it's just not the strongest knife design. I think this would break on you before it, um, before it folds on you, which is what a lot of people say, you know, it's not going to fail, the lock isn't going to fail, the whole knife is going to self-destruct before it hurts you. But he recognized that this wasn't as strong as it could be. So he started making his own ballast songs. Uh, when he was Pacific Cutlery. And he made some very fine ones with exotic materials like wood. He, he started using titanium. And um, I think he had some like buffalo horn ones and stuff. And he had the different blade shapes like the Creus, which I'd love to have. But um, I remember there was this, there was this uh, interview with the president and founder of Benchmade on YouTube. And he was talking about how strong his ballast songs are and how it was his cult goal to make <coughs> a superior ballast song and he was bragging that he makes integral um, ballast song handles that are single pieced. They're all machined out of a single piece of titanium or stainless steel and uh, that they're integral. They're not sandwich construction. This is sandwich construction. Um, and he was saying that this was a benefit to his knives that they're all integral and uh, that they're all machined out of a single billet of uh, titanium and this adds to its strength. Well this is very very interesting because um, Benchmade has the 
uh, Morpho series and the 660 uh, series, the 60X series, which is the 62, 60, what, uh, the Tano and the 60 um, um, clip, which I think is like 63, 64, something like that. But uh, all of those knives are sandwich construction. And I find this funny because it's a complete contradiction to his mission statement in this interview. And you see this in other companies. Um, K-Ball. They came out with the K-Ball TDI from the Tactical De uh, Defense Institute. And um, the Tactical In uh, Defense Institute guy that designed the TDI was talking about how when when the TDI force came out, how it's a super fast knife, it's a super strong knife, great for police officers and ed edge retention. Um, he said it was very important that it was a fixed blade and that um, you know you don't that it's a lot faster than any switch blade and stuff. And I don't think uh, Cable still has it in their lineup, but after that, a few years after the TDI has been out, they came out with a folding. I think it was a. Yeah, it was a folding TDI. It was in the complete opposite direction of the original mission statement. I guess this has a lot to do with what the customers want. The customers were like, hey, I want um, you know, a folding TDI because I think it's cool. But um, I personally want it. But um, I guess that's why they made it. But I just thought it was funny. I wanted to talk about that. Kind of the contradictions to the original plans and what they turned out to be. I th I'm thinking about getting a 62. Like I said, I like the Weehawk design. Um, I, I would like a other Balasong to carry with me on it as an EDC knife because I enjoy using them. Um, I don't like the uh, 60X series uh, because they don't have a pocket clip. Um, the 51 that I have has a pocket clip, but it needs to be repaired, so next time I get a hold of Benchmade, I need to talk to them about that. But, um, yeah, I'd like another ballast song to carry, and I'm gonna, another non-loaded, uh, fast draw. But, um, I'm basically resolving this 42 as my trainer. Um, it, um, it still can cut. Um, there was a cut right there, and let's see, where was that other one? Um, I guess it healed. There it is, on my middle finger. There was another cut. It still can cut, it just, you know, you, you ha it doesn't cut as much. It's not that sharp, as you can see on the paper. So this is now my training ballast song. If someone wanted to offer me a thousand dollars for it, uh, I'd say, well, you know, okay, but um, I could probably get a um, um, 29 ballast song. It, the problem with getting 29 ballast songs is finding them. I can't find them anytime I, I have the money for them. And even when I have the money for them, I really shouldn't spend the money on them. Or I can't make myself spend the money on them. But, um,. Yeah, this is my trainer now. This is what I use to uh, learn balasong tricks or man uh, flourishes, manipulations, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm trying to learn the Zero Gravity Chaplain and I cannot get it down. I've watched several videos on it and it is n not progressing pretty any well at all. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you my uh, 51 and show you how much joy it's brought to me. Um, you know, as far as a flipping knife, uh, it, I've definitely got my money's worth out of it, uh, which I didn't put any money into it because I got it for a Christmas, but I definitely got my parents' money's worth out of it, um, and I wanted to share that with you. Uh, I wanted to share you, share with you my battle song and the uh, little contradiction in, uh, Pacific Cutlery versus Benchmade. So that's it, um, uh. I hope y'all have a great day. I'm Satsu5, and I'm out.